Or is the time at Genesis, follow you, follow me. Now then, a Bristol MP has donned a safety helmet, rock climbing harness for the first time ever, I'm told, and has been climbing the Avon Gorge, as you do. She's donning a bright red T-shirt this afternoon with Climb Bristol BMC with the uh, silhouettes of the Clifton Bridge also on it. It is Charlotte Leslie, the uh, Conservative MP for Bristol North West. Good to see you. Good to see you, Jeff, in one piece. Um, That's me. I'm in one piece, yeah, <laughs> but I know what you mean. Uh, why have you been up to um, climbing the, uh, the gorge today? Why? I was invited by the Climb Bristol group because um, they said to me they wanted to highlight what a spectacular climbing venue, I mean, in terms of countrywide um, the Avon Gorge is and some various improvements it, it, it needed and I was somewhat sceptical but I think a member of my staff said oh yes she'll do it um, so I thought oh blimey so I'm doing it then so I, I, I climbed up for the first time ever I've done abseiling but I've never climbed up um, climbed before climbed up this morning and I have to say it has completely changed the way I look at the Avon Gorge and we have we, we generally genuinely have a real gem for climbers on, on our city. It's another one of the things that Bristol has but just doesn't make the most of. Um, and I saw the, the access to it's really difficult. You have to walk, walk along the portway, which is dangerous. The Climb Bristol group have actually done an awful lot of clearing to make access for climbers and, you know, and other people to the rock face. Um, Bristol boasts some unique flora um, and uh, plants and things that grow on the um, gorge and they've been clearing shrubbery to keep that, um, that sort of unique um, plants and things alive and well and flourishing and to keep the rock face um, sort of good for climbers who come from all over the country to use it. Um, yeah, so as you can tell, I'm still a bit hyper from having climbed no, no. up the top and yeah, yeah. on top certain, of the world and all sorts of puns like that. Certain buzz about you. So base camp was at ground level. How high did you go? I don't know exactly how high it was. Um, I'm sure Climb Bristol will be able to tell you. It was fairly high. It was pretty high. It was did you sort feel of, safe? I felt very safe. I was in very, very good hands. Um, some of it was quite steep. It looked easier from the bottom, and then I suddenly got onto it, and it was very vertical, and I was finding little cracks in my hands and um, inching my way up. And by the time I was three-quarters of the way up, I really began to enjoy it because you, you get into it, and I began to realise that the shoes they give you stick to the rock quite well, and I think I might be a bit hooked. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good to know. I mean, what a wonderful distraction from health issues and the House of Parliament. It felt very real. Sometimes politics can feel a million miles away from the real world, but when you're when you're stuck to the side of a rock face, some some metres up with just a rope between you and, and your maker, um, and you're looking for where you're going to put your next you know foot to get your next hand in, um, it's very relaxing because in some senses you're concentrating on the reality in front of you. Um, I recommend it. I'm going to say George has been very good in abseiling down the gorge with me. So, uh, George Ferguson, if you're listening, I challenge you to climb up that rock face um, and see for yourself what a fantastic climbing feature we have uh, here in Bristol. OK, if he's not listening, we'll pass on the, the kind of challenge. Uh, what, what was easier, going up or coming down? Once I got to grips with it, I think I enjoyed going up more. And in some ways, it was easier because you felt more in control. With abseiling, it's sort of gravity's in control. Um, and there's a real technique I began to, uh, to appreciate with climbing. Um, and it's a bit like doing... It's a sort of physical challenge, but a mental one as well. It's a bit like doing a mental jigsaw in terms of where you're going to put your feet, how everything fits together as you go up the rock face. Mm. So... Um, I, I think I'm converted. I, I might well want to do another climb really? if they'll have me back. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Um, and the Climb Bristol group, they want to kind of rejuvenate climbing on the gorge. Is that, is that the essence of what today oh, was about? It's, so it's very historic. Mm -hmm. um, they were going through the history of it with me, and Chris Bonington did some of the first climbs, some of the first climbs back in the 1950s, I think, um, when it, it wasn't an established sport so much. And it's one of the most beautiful areas to climb but also one of the most suitable for climbers and there's an enormous community of climbers around the area who come to Bristol and it's something I think Bristol could be making an awful lot more of and as, as one of the climbers said to me, climbers tend to not shout a lot, they tend to just get, get on, on with climbing yeah. Yeah. but also I think we need to recognise the 
the volunteering and the work they've put into keeping that area nice. But, you know, they, they used to be car parking space. Like many things in Bristol, it used to be a lot better. And I think there's real potential, A, to make the approach to it a lot safer, perhaps a footpath along that side of the portway. It's only shrubbery there. It wouldn't take rocket science to make it a footpath. Um, to clear some space might be a quite a nice picnic area. Um, and perhaps on Make Sunday special, maybe occasionally the portway could be closed off as well. Yeah, no, it's all good stuff. Bravo to you. Well done. And thanks thank for coming in and talking with us. Well, thank you very much. You sound so energised by it. It's great. I do. Well, when I got to the top, on top of the world was exactly how I felt. And it was an amazing view out to the estuary. I really recommend it. Mm, good to see you. Thanks for coming in, thank Charlotte. Thank you. That's, uh, Charlotte Leslie, who's uh, been uh, climbing today and uh, enjoyed that. So uh, we'll pass on that to challenge stroke invitation to George Fergs as well uh, from Charlotte. Yeah. Knowles is with me. He was part of a support group from Cl uh, Climb Bristol today. She certainly enjoyed herself. You could, uh, you could detect that there, Charlotte Leslie, couldn't you, Colin? Absolutely. And I think um, another 5,000 climbers in the Bristol area would have been really keen to be out today because the weather's been absolutely gorgeous. Um, the Bristol uh, Avon Gorge is something, as Charlotte said, which is not valued by the city as, as well, much as it should be. It's an absolutely marvellous uh, scene to be there. It's packed full of rare and unusual wildlife, and it contains something like 800 different climbs of all sorts of grades and characters. So what was today about, and what do you want to see as a result of today? Well, I think... Charlotte was helping us raise the profile of the campaign so that we can get the gorge into a condition which is suitable for climbers to visit and enjoy and for the general public to come along and enjoy and understand. At the moment, the access is absolutely very, very difficult indeed. Traffic, traffic noise, difficulty with parking, lack of bus stops, lack of bicycle locking up points, anything that you can imagine is difficult, it's difficult in the Avon Gorge. And on top of that, there aren't very many good paths linking the top and the bottom of the gorge, so for the ordinary person, moving around is very, very difficult indeed. The climbing itself is absolutely excellent, but it does need maintaining, and that's part of our job. OK, I mean, who should fund that? I mean, everything comes down to money, ultimately. Should this just be down to the city council, or should your organisation raise money? How, how should it work? It's a complicated picture because the, the sites are, are owned by a mixture of the Merchant Venturers Charity and the city council. Um, in our case, we believe that voluntary effort is really an important part of keeping the gorge in good shape. So where money needs to be spent by the City Council, it would be more on the access issues. In terms of keeping the rock faces in good shape, that would be more by the voluntary effort. OK. Have you approached the City Council? We've been talking to uh, various elements within the City Council over the last year, and we intend to carry on talking to the City Council until we're established as the organisation which the City Council comes to when it wants to talk about climbing and understand climbing. OK. Good to chat with you this afternoon, Colin. Thanks for coming in. That's Colin Knowles from Climb Bristol.